Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Root. If you're new here and on this channel, you're gonna find a lot of motherhood content and homemaking. So I always like to say we're on this motherhood journey together. So if you're interested, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're already a member of this channel, girl, chaba. Let me tell you how I started my morning. So anyway, girl, the house a mess. It's a mess. Let me put you down. It's all a mess. I'm a mess. Ciao. So it's Saturday, like I was saying, right? So it's Saturday, and I think it's about 11 o'clock right now. I don't have a clock on me, but I woke up this morning, and I already told the kids, oh, we going out, oh, we going to the pool, because you know, I like them to give them something little to look forward to. Child, when I tell you every 30 minutes, is we gonna go, is we gonna go, is we gonna go? So we doing that today. So today we're going to the, is it a community pool? I don't know, you don't want to be having those little splash pads or whatever. I think that's what it is. Or like a mini outdoor water park. I don't know what it is, but girl, you gonna see. Anyway, that's the main thing we're doing today. But the other thing that we need to do, girl, I need to get this house together. Like we're not deep cleaning, but we, we cleaning. How I'm off my game for two days, not even a day and a half. And it look like nobody live here. And it look crazy crazy okay because yesterday by the time i finished editing the video obviously i was watching my son doing all that and the kids came home i didn't want to do nothing so we went out to dinner and i came home and i looked at the mess and it looked back at me and i wanted to sleep because i was tired who so today the mess still looking at me so obviously i'm gonna do something about it because i don't want to roll into the new week with the house looking like this so i'm gonna do that honestly we're gonna be getting our life together i just put liam down to take a nap i'm still sleep training him but mostly during nap time and the kids are in the backyard they were sitting this morning the lawn i was doing a voiceover this morning what well, i was trying to do a voiceover because you know my kids are loud so that didn't go as planned but i'm about to go put them down for a nap for my daughter quiet time for my son and start cleaning the house let's go girl so Davidson put the kids lunch in the air fryer and I'm intermittent fasting is 11.43 so I'm about to make my breakfast now. So the kids are eating Purdue nuggets and fries. Aiden likes ketchup, Riley likes honey mustard. This is the nuggets I got, the Purdue chicken breast nuggets. I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got this from Costco. If not, it must have been Walmart. And these fries, I know I got it from Costco because it's huge. It is the extra crispy fast food Oreo girl i can't say that oro de fries six pound bag from costco we just usually keep this in the freezer all right y'all so this is the state of the house and again that is from one and a half days girl Try bye this is the living room not that bad this is the front and upstairs i think it's like bearable but let's get started Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help to give Liam, uh, I don't even know if this is a snack, but I think his gums is bothering him because he's doing the most. So this is just a tropical fruit medley and I'm just putting a banana, a mango in here and I'm not a big fan of strawberries and a strawberry and this contraption, I don't know where it's from, but I'm gonna link it down below. So all you do is put the frozen fruit in there. I put way too much fruit. Let me see if I can get it to close because who? Yeah, you put it in there and it just helps soothe their gum and the fruit comes out of these small little holes in order for them to eat. Is this thing focused? 
child anyway it looks like this so they hold this he's not a big fan of it riley was though i just need him to be occupied for a little bit while i clean up it's supposed to go in his mouth but he's kind of used to it and he knows what it is and he's like no i don't want it but let's see if that'll occupy him for a little bit you holding it the wrong way papa here that way <laughs> he's not a fan but hold on papa here there you go. He's been doing um, really well with the helmet, you guys. He has to keep it on for 23 hours a day, including sleep only comes off during nap time. And Davidson and I honestly think we see a change in the back of his head, like it's rounding out. So he's about two weeks in, four more weeks to go. Because the yard is like mainly weed. When the weed are not there, yeah. all you see is dirt. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would ever live in somebody's rental because I live yeah, there. I want it to be nice. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, I just wanted to know, like, I take care of the house. By the time I'm ready to move, Alright you guys, so I am done. The dishwasher is running and why well, I sat down. Oh, I just wanted to sit down with you guys and give you guys an update. Girl, Liam. But I think he did better this time than he did last time. So the first thing I want to talk about is myself. I'm still going to physical therapy, but now it's been reduced from two times a week to one time a week. What I'm working on is mostly strengthening my pelvic. And obviously, you guys know that I have abdominal dia I have abdominal diastasis recti problem or something like that. So that's where my abdominal muscles are separated. And uh, I don't know if it's belly fat or whatever it is, it's just jutting out. So all of that is from pregnancy. I've talked about this before in previous vlogs, so that's what I'm going to physical therapy for. I noticed I had this issue because I wasn't able to stand for long periods of time, sit for long periods of time. If I climb stairs or do any extraneous activities or carry anything heavier than 10 pounds, I'll get pain in my lower back and sometimes it'll radiate to my front and I'll feel a lot of pressure in my pelvic floor. That's why I was recommended physical therapy. It's really, really helping a lot. I have some exercises that I do throughout the week. I'll share them in a future vlog, but right now, I just clean up the whole house and that's what kind of triggered me and it's just been a lot so standing up to cook for a long time clean for a long time just on my feet like I was for what the last 15 minutes my lower back is burning so I'm resting it now the second thing I want to talk to you guys about is potty training I am potty training my two-year-old and child she potty training me at this point. It has been a struggle. She is not yet two and a half, so I'm trying to give myself some grace. I potty trained my son at three years old because I tried at two and no ma'am. So I did it again at three and it worked over time, you know. But this time around, I was like, I got it. I child don't got nothing um she uses the potty she just doesn't tell you she needs to potty so unless you're on that strict schedule ain't nobody potty with my baby he's down to a schedule and i let him fall into a natural schedule himself he's almost seven months but not quite there yet his schedule is he wakes up in the morning around seven o'clock in the morning started noticing that he would rub his eyes and get sleepy around 10 11 and after two weeks of that then i knew around 10 or 11 he needed to be put down for a nap so instead of me going crazy going oh my god i just realized okay he's on a routine he's tired that's his way of telling you he's tired so i put him down between 10 and 11 and yes i still try to do the Ferber method I don't do it extensively because I don't like my baby crying for a long time but I do it according to what I'm comfortable with and then around two or three when he needs to go down for that second nap I don't like when you climb that like that give me a second yeah I'm coming upstairs to get you changed to go to the pool uh, I'm not leaving Riley behind. I'm going to get her changed too. But give me a second. Okay, I'm talking to someone. So, 
Yeah, and his second nap of the day is at between 2 and 3. But by 7 o'clock, baby, he needs to go to sleep. So we take him his shower, do the night routine. He does take a shower every single night. All my babies started taking a shower every single night at 3 months old. Because I don't know about y'all babies, but my babies, no ma'am. Mm. <laughs> they needed it. So he needs to take one every child. He needs to take one. Trust and believe. So he does take one every single night and we put him to sleep. So that routine is on point. I've noticed though that now nap time has been easier to lay him down than it is than it is bedtime. But I don't know. But that's the updates I wanted to give you guys because I noticed I don't really give that much updates. And I think sometimes this could be helpful to another mom that have small kids like me. I am trying to transition my channel to not being so focused on my children. For more focused on my motherhood journey and unfortunately because i'm a mother it does include my children so i'm trying just trying to do the best that i can here but if you have any tips of how to do that better just feel free to let me know so anyway you guys i'm gonna go upstairs and get ready and get the kids ready for our outing liam aiden please So you guys, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this and I got this top from Shein. I think I got this top last year from Shein and I know I was saying in the last vlog I've never ordered in Shein, from Shein. I think I literally ordered swimsuit cover up now that I remember. I got this, yes Bubba. This is a Forever 21 swimsuit. I felt like it didn't come together, obviously, but I felt like they would color match. Aiden, did you finish what you was gonna say? Yeah. This I got from Target. I've never used it before. It's by the, Aiden, come on, Bubba. It's by the iPlay brand. I am a swim diaper. This is a 12 month one for Liam. It's reusable and absorbent. Remind me to tell you guys how it works. Like, I mean, if it works, obviously. These are their towels. Got these from Walmart. I always get Minion towels if they have have it from Walmart and this is a huge beach towel I got from Walmart this is Aiden swim shoes I always have them wear this you guys I don't know if I ever told you but one time we was at Great Wolf Lodge girl and my kids had these I always because they're runners and I always need them to have like a good something with a good surface or whatever there was this girl that came up to play with Aiden everything she was barefoot when I tell you she slipped so hard and slammed her forehead get had him wear these or have them wear some type of something that if they're on a slippery surface that they're not gonna fall because it was bad. Then I got Riley these from Amazon. I do not know if these are gonna fit, but if they don't fit, I'm gonna return it. And she is gonna be barefoot today because she doesn't have one that fit. This is for Aiden and this is for Liam. That's their swimwear. And this is something I got from Amazon for Riley. This looks a little too big for her, but I'm gonna try it. As she get older, she's two now, but you know, girl, she's starting to get a body yaddy yaddy, so I was just more comfortable with her being a little bit more modest. I got her something with shorts this time, but this looks super big. I got it from Amazon with rainbows. I'll link it down below, but most likely I'm gonna return it if it's too big and get a new one. I'm gonna try it on her because she's napping now. The other swimsuit is in her room, and I got the shorts from Amazon to go. The reviews were saying that the shorts are kind of see-through, but I don't know like aren't we at the pool? I don't know, but let's see how they look on her I also have this baby hat from I think this is from Walmart. Yeah, one donation is one of their brands This hat has been through so many kids guys. It's been through Aiden um, What's his name? Ethan my sister-in-law's son and now Liam gets to use it yeah guys keep your hand-me-downs so this hat right here came from walmart and i love it really keeps the sun away from baby i forgot to tell you guys guess who's sitting now well <laughs> he was sitting for a while though sit but he does this thing where he kind of pushes himself to the ground purposely come on papa show sure everybody can sit no give me there you go. There you go. One, two, three, there you go. Four, five, six, yeah. Nine, eight, I have the pillow in the back of him just in case, like, if he falls back. Uh, oh, yeah. So, anyway, girl, I just ran downstairs to get this because this was too big. So, I got to return it to Amazon. <sighs> I gotta return this to Amazon in exchange. And have y'all tried Amazon try before you buy? Girl, I've been trying to just look a little see-through. So this is the Canoe Surf. I'll leave the link down below. 
little shorts if you want to put it. I thought this yellow was going to match, but you know what? It is what it is. I got this from Target. It's like a cute girly swimsuit. And the back is like that. This, this is a 3T. You don't need 3T. So I got her this yellow short to match. Yeah, it's not that see through. I think this will do. Oh, what I was saying, try before you buy. I've been doing it on Amazon and I've been liking it. So it looks like this. She's posing for me. <laughs> but that's cute, mama. Eh. These shoes barely fit, but they'll do for now, I think. You okay? Stand up. On second thought, you guys, those are too small. So I gotta return the <laughs> shoes as well. I'm gonna get you a new shoe, okay? <laughs> Okay, go play with brother. I'm coming. And I always get a uh, change of clothes when I'm leaving. So this is from Tar. No, this is from Old Navy. They had a sale. This was five bucks from Old Navy. They had a 50% off sale. And these are for Aiden. I have a summer, a uh, toddler summer collective haul coming. And it's from several different stores for the summer. I gotta put that out ASAP or it's not coming out. Because what we're not doing is putting out. Um, summer is over and this I got this as well from Target. It's like a swim cover-up. Let's put this on now Let me see if this will make her forget the shoes. Yeah, girl putting that on her worked enough for her to walk out that door Yes, ma'am. I'm putting a change of clothes for the kids. So let me put a change of clothes. Oh, I've had this swim cover up. I think this is from Walmart. Yep, time and true. Walmart, this swim cover up. Yeah, I've seen this for some years. So I'm bringing that and I think I'm just gonna bring this long dress. I think this is from Forever 21. Yeah, that's my coming home clothes. And I'll wear the swim cover up to so go. Can I get a kid's burger? No cheese. With cheese. With cheese, okay. No pickles. And a two chicken tender. Two chicken tender, kid's menu. Okay, for here to go. For here. Everything for here. Can I get a name for the order? R-U-C-E. R-U-C-E. I need a star, babe. Thank you. 
Hey guys, so I am home. We just got home now. It is 6.50 and I have to give all three of the kids a shower because my car was acting up on our way here. The suspension went out. So hubby is downstairs working on the suspension and I have a massive headache. I took two Advils in the car when we were on our way to dinner and then at dinner I realized I hadn't had any caffeine today and I've been having caffeine like regularly for the last maybe two to three weeks so I, I got some coke to see if that would work when my head is still pounding but let me go ahead and take these kids a shower and I'll get back on with you. The room is a mess by the way upstairs. Downstairs is clean. Upstairs tomorrow. What's up? Aiden come get these please. Thank you. Appreciate you. Not me tidying up the room when I just said I wasn't going to tidy it up. Oh, you could take the mom out the mom, but not the mom out the mom. I don't even know if you say that correctly. How you say you could take the donkey to the river, but you can't make him drink? That's not what I was trying to say. I think that said you could take the stripper out. No. Child, I don't know. But a mom is always going to be a mom, period. Not me bending down with a whole headache. I need to go sit somewhere. They go to laundry that needs to be folded. Always, never a dull moment in this house. What is it? Give me a second. Child, my baby girl. Okay, Bubba. Aiden, come out here. He's not on the floor. He's not on the floor. He's just tired. I gotta empty this. This is my collector basket that I always take downstairs. Okay, Bubba, okay. What are you doing? So what I normally do, you guys, is, oh, uh, is I find the pajamas and stuff. I collect everybody's stuff early and just do it in the bathroom because doing it in the bathroom it's easier so I just take a towel and the PJs currently using these right here for sleep time we tried I tried what you guys recommended just going pro bono at night time for a week and child obviously you can see how that ended so we're gonna try again in a month or two so see these are like for nighttime for kids that are still not potty trained and they're like older. Like I think three, four, five. Oh, I gotta grab Riley stuff too. I grab Riley stuff. I don't know why I feel like it's easier though to get them ready. Looking for short sleeves. Is it short sleeves? No. I feel like it's easier to get them ready in the bathroom. Take this. Take the towel. And. Take that. And also take Liam. And I just put the baby in the bathroom with me. Who's highly upset. Alright you guys, I am done for the night. I look a hot mess, I know. But, oh, I took out everybody and their mama's humidifier because... I think somebody got a cold. I can't remember which one of them. Somebody had a cold. So that means basically most of them will all catch it because everybody's under the age of four and they, they don't know how to be separate. They just don't. So all of these need to be washed with white vinegar. I'm going to have hubby run to the store after he figures out what's going on with the car. I'm going to have him run to the store and then I'm going to have him wash those while I go take a shower right now and just relax and fall asleep because it's been a long day. So thank you so much for spending the day with me. I love spending the day with you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.